was in the Navy all those years ago with that aircraft carrier. I had a friend of mine who used to tell me, I wish I could have fried potatoes every meal. And I told him, I said, dude, you made a mistake because you're not going to get fried potatoes on this aircraft carrier every meal. You shouldn't have joined the Navy. You should have moved to Idaho. Hey, good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning in Pocatello, Idaho, and we're getting ready to see something. The Museum of Clean, and it's quite fascinating inside. Incidentally, this building is 1916 building that the owner here, the founder of the Museum of Clean, actually renovated this. It took him like four or five years. Let's go inside. It's really something. Wait and see. Now, how different, right? A Museum of Clean Devices. This building is 74,000 square feet, y'all. And it's all these wonderful exhibits of cleaning devices. This man has collected years and years. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. And we go here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's go up here and take a look. She was just telling me how to get around. Hmm? Can you say hello? Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay, the director said the best thing to do is go this way, so we're going to do it. See what we got. Hey, hey. About 20 feet tall. All oh, these are wash machines. How many of you mothers had one of these on the back porch, especially this one? Remember the ringer? Remember the ringer? Get your thumb caught in the ringer and take it off. All washing machines here, y'all. Look at this. Washing and boiler. Oh, look at this. You have a, an animal to wash the clothes. Look at this. Look at this washing machine, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> Early 1900s. Wash machines. Very different kind of, all the ways to try to clean our clothes, right? Barrels. find this interesting I do I don't want to bore you but I just think it's just quite interesting all these little wash machines up here look at this one <laughs> fancy wash machine seat now portable toilet that's from a prison I guarantee you yeah, and we have to find a spot. There it is. <laughs> there you go, RVers. That's what you need. Hmm. I don't know how this would work. No canteen. Uh, vacuum cleaner accessory dinosaur. Quite a place, look at this. Oh, I love to own one of these. Look how pretty that is. A mobile cleaner. <laughs> These old soap cars. Like that one. There you go, girls. Check that out. That's NASA. Check out this rig. To clean a tea and beyond. Now that, you guys, would make a great little RV. I'd leave all the equipment on it. <laughs> 
That's cool right there, man. I love that. Yeah, and it's Sunday, 13th of August. It's about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. And Tish is going to give us a walk through here. But I want to show you the ingredient for beer. Here's the ingredient. Just a minute. Here's the ingredient for beer. Right here. That's the ingredient for beer. You don't need hops. You don't need all that. You need beer, food, and fun, and music. That's all you need. Party here. You don't need anything else. All right, let's go in and take a look. <laughs> we'll see what we got here in this nano brewery, okay? We're gonna take a real good look. Tish here's gonna show us around here. Hey, Tish. And so, Tish, you're gonna show us around the brewery? And, yeah, come on, this is a nano brewery owned by, am I right, Tish, Penny Pink? Penny Pink? Penny Pink. Okay, she's gonna tell us what. So, uh, these are our mash barrels. That's where the base of the beer happens with the wheat and then goes into the de-fermentation tank where it swirls it around, gets all the stuff. They add the hops and the yeast, which turns it into alcohol in our kettles okay that's great what else you got for us you want to go see the greenery yeah just show us around the restaurant if you would okay come on we were here yesterday and i had the the pale ale and uh that is uh indian isn't it? the ipa indian pale ale Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Right. Hey, look at this, you guys. This is the keg room where we kind of do our backup kegs. We've got the granary over here. Alrighty. Storage of all the grains and. That's where you keep your grains. Yeah. What grains do you have? Oh, what? there are so many. Um, we've got them all kind of got the. Black barley, black malts, chocolate, chocolate. crystal, uh, the victory, there's a special roast, all the way down to the German and the wheat. And that determines the the type of beer it's going to be, like there's a pale ale or a, that grog I had was so good. Yes. Which one is the grog? I, you know. I know. Okay, I got you. <laughs> okay. I have not the brewer. Penny is one okay. of less than three percent of female brewers okay. in the country okay we're going this big walk-in cooler here hey look at here y'all look, <laughs> look at all this now oh boy just stop it <laughs> i'm serious 